Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you a very overdue empties video. I have no idea when I stopped filming them. I think it was like, I don't know, it's been a hot minute. So without further ado, we're going to jump into it and I'm going to do my best to remember everything. First, we're going to start with this bag of overflow stuff. I've got a Cypress Men's Collection Ultra Shea Body Cream from Bath & Body Works. This has been toasted. Um, there are not scent notes on it, but it just is a really like woody kind of smelling men's lotion. It was really nice. Um, don't know that I would repurchase it, but it, it was nice. I've got some Suave Almond and Shea Butter Moisturizing Shampoo, just a little sample size of this that I had picked up at my local Target. It smelled really nice, but it was nothing like to write home about. You guys know how I feel about hair care. I probably should care more about it, but I don't. This is a Lucky Super Soft Aloe Vera uh, hand soap from the Dollar Tree. I just picked it up because it was cheap and it was there. Um, nothing to write home about, but it wasn't like horrible either. And for a dollar, you can't beat it. Sorry, I don't know. I got a new phone and I don't know where I'm supposed to look, you know? So, plus it's been a while. This is my Minnie Mouse lavender scented hand sanitizer. I had no idea this was supposed to be lavender scented. Um, it was just from like the Target little, it's not called the dollar spot anymore, is it? What is it called? Um, but yeah, it was good, served its purpose. I'd probably pick it up again because it was cheap, but it's nothing special. This is my Bath & Body Works Warm Vanilla Sugar Fragrance Mist in the little baby version. I love this stuff so much. Um, definitely need to pick up more. I also have another banger from <laughs> Bath & Body Works. This is the Sleep Lavender and Vanilla Hand Cream. I cut the back open, scooped every last drop out. Love this stuff so much, would definitely repurchase. And I really enjoy this too. I'm gonna smell it again. This is the Twisted Peppermint Body Lotion from Bath & Body Works. The scent notes are cool peppermint, sugared snow, vanilla buttercream, and fresh balsam. I really just get peppermint though and maybe a hint of vanilla, but this is definitely one that I pick up every year, used that all gone. And cotton balls. So nothing important, but you know I'll keep buying them because I keep melting wax. Um, what else do I have here? I've got the Aussie Miracle Moist Conditioner. I really like this stuff. It's just my go-to. It's cheap. It's purple. It's cute. It smells nice. This is the shampoo Miracle Moist from Aussie. I also have some Kirkland 30 daily facial towelettes. You guys know that I love these things. I just pick them up in bulk at Costco like once or twice a year. Call it good. And more cotton balls. <laughs> I also finished up my CVS melatonin gummies. These are my favorite for nights when like I can't sleep. Sorry, things are literally falling all around me. Um, really enjoy these. I don't think I have any more, but I've got something else that I'm trying. So we'll see how that works out. This is what fell on the floor. This is the Wonder Maki Berry Antioxidant Sheet Mask. This is what it looks like. Sorry, I'm bumping the table. Um, this was nothing to write home about. I don't even know where I got this. It was a sheet mask. I don't know. Did nothing in my opinion. This is the Impress Glow in the Dark Nails. Uh, they were, I don't even know. It's a real bummer. Okay. Anyways, I used up these nails. I love the Impress nails. These were some from Halloween. Um, love those would definitely read a purchase. Here's some more Halloween ones you can kind of see. Um, these ones were longer. I like the short and medium. The long are pretty, but they don't last as long because, you know, it's like longer, it catches on things more. But again, I love the Kiss and the Impress. They're like the same, they're like sister companies. Um, so yeah, definitely we'll be purchasing more of those. This is the Kirkland Daily Facial Towelettes again, another pack of 30. I also tried out these Sinful Color Glass Stoned um, Press-On Nails. 
and they were really pretty. I do still like the impress ones better, but these were really pretty. They had some pearls on them and they did come off slowly over the like period of wear. So like the nail itself lasted a while, but like all the little gems that were on it slowly fell off. So these were nice for the price, but still with a similar price point, I would go with impress over sinful colors. This is a little pyramid of mini blending sponges from Mary Kay. I have been slowly but surely working through these. I think there was a set of four. Yeah, four of them in here. Um, and I just have been using them throughout the year. And that's empty. I have another Aussie Miracle Moist Conditioner. Again, I told you guys this has been my go-to lately. Really enjoy that. I finished my Champagne Toast Body Lotion by Bath & Body Works. I really love this bottle. I wish there was some way for me to reuse it. Um, I don't have the scent notes, but it's just like a very sweet, fizzy kind of a scent. It kind of smells like strawberry champagne or strawberry soda, um, but really enjoyed that. I've got this Ocean Surf Speed Stick deodorant. Um, technically it's for men, but your girl uses it. It's gone, I promise. Um, it smells nice. I don't know. It just smells like men's deodorant, honestly. I used up some Snow Place Like Home Scentsy uh, Room Spray. I have these in every single bathroom at the office. Different scents. This one wasn't my personal favorite, and I don't have the scent notes on it. If I was more prepared, I would have looked it up. Um, it just is like a fresh kind of a smell. Not my personal favorite, but it's... It works. <laughs> this is the Echo Botanics White Tea and Honey Soothing Lotion, something I picked up at a hotel somewhere along the way. And I really love using up the stuff that they, whoop. I just shot some onto my leg. Obviously it wasn't completely used up. It smells nice though. <laughs> um, but yeah, so don't think I would ever purchase it, but it's gone. Uh, this is the Mary Kay Lash Love Lengthening Mascara. I really enjoy this one. I think I'm currently using it again. I don't know. I have some kind of Mary Kay mascara going. Um, really enjoy that one. Have more of them. This is the HomeSense Kroger brand antibacterial lemon cleaner. I would not repurchase this. Most of the time I like Kroger brand stuff like better usually than brand name but this was not it fam. Um, it just kind of, it was yellow first off, so it was just kind of weird. And I don't feel like it cleaned my counters as much as I wanted it to. So would not repurchase that. And more cotton balls. I also used up my Dr. Teal's moisturizing bath bombs in lavender. These are nothing to write home about. Um, you, they're, they're really small and they don't have that much scent to them. So I feel like it's not really worth the money to purchase these but I used them. I needed like two or three to like really feel like anything was happening. This is the Lavender and Shea Soft Soap. Um, again, I purchased this just because it was, I was at Walmart. It was cheap. Um, I really like the Lavender and Shea Soft Soap. Um, yeah, I would repurchase this for sure. And wow, another one because I have two sinks that match. So I needed them to match. Um, this is my Mary Kay foundation primer with SPF 15. I love this stuff. Um, I've got another bottle that I'm currently using up. It just does a really good job of making sure your makeup looks smooth and stays. So love that. This is some Scentsy Soak in Luna. I love the scent of this. I wasn't super into the product itself. I don't know if it just got wet or something, but it just kind of got goopy. So by the end of it, I was just like dumping clumps into the tub. Um, this is Jasmine, Sweet Pea, Berries, and Sandalwood. Again, the scent is a banger, one of my all-time favorite scents, but this was just a hot mess. So <laughs> there's that. Oh my gosh, I went through so many fake nails. I didn't even realize. This is the All Free and Clear with Stain Lifter uh, Laundry Detergent. I'm not a super big fan of this. It has like no dye and no scent to it. And I love fake everything. I love dyes, I love scents. 
So I got this because it was on clearance, but I would pick up uh, something that smells next time. This is Oral-B Fresh and Clean Toothbrushes. I had a six pack of these. Um, I actually really like these toothbrushes. I don't remember where I got them, but the Fresh and Clean, I like them. I also finished up a Winter Candy Apple Fine Fragrance Mist, and this is Candied Fruit Treat. Oh, here it is. Candy Red Apple, Winter Rose Petals, Candied Orange, Maple Leaf, and Fresh Cinnamon. I really just smell candy and apples, you know? So <laughs> there's that. This is another one that I get like every year. Here is some Champagne Toast Gentle Hand Soap. This was the gel version. I love the color of this. Um, it's bubbly champagne, sparkling berries, and juicy tangerine. So that's what the smell is um, for that lotion that I was talking about earlier. So very good, would recommend and would repurchase. This is my Satin Body Revitalizing Shea Scrub by Mary Kay. I really love the scent of this and it feels very luxurious, but I prefer a really tough grit in my sugar scrubs and this one is very fine. So while I do enjoy this, I wouldn't go out of my way to repurchase it because I prefer the thicker, grittier scrubs. But this has a great luxurious feel and smell if that's like your bag and you like a thinner grit. This is another one of my favorite products. It's a Mary Kay oil-free eye makeup remover. This stuff, I think this was my last bottle, Depression. Um, but it's really good. I just put it on a little wipe and then like, you know, boom, done, nailed it. Um, great stuff, would definitely repurchase and I need to. This is Midnight Fantasy, a little perfume by Britney Spears. Um, I don't know the scent notes. It's basically her fantasy, but like a little bit of a darker berry. And I prefer the original fantasy. It smells like cotton candy versus like berries, you know? I don't know. It's good, but I definitely prefer the pink bottle more. This was a cute little um, sugar scrub that my sister got for me to ask me to be her maid of honor. It was just a handmade, like I can't say I do without you by the company, The Dancing Wick. And it smelled so good, <laughs> like so good. It was a wedding cake sugar scrub um, and it was amazing. The website, if you feel like ordering, is thedancingwick.com. Show you guys a little whoop here, because you know we love to support a small business. Um, but yeah, this stuff was banging. I would definitely repurchase for sure. All right, I've got some Aquafresh toothpaste. You guys know how I feel about this. I bought it for like super clearance, 10 cents. Had way too many of them. Would definitely not do it again. This is Dial Silk and Magnolia. It is just a giant bottle of body wash and it smells really nice. I really enjoyed this. Um, I would repurchase. I. <laughs> It's not my favorite body wash, but like the smell was really good. It's just, I do prefer like the more Bath and Body Works type, you know, but this one was good and I enjoyed it. Here are some more of the Kiss nails. They kind of, you can see the color scheme that was going on here. Um, again, I love Kiss nails so much. Would definitely repurchase. I used up this little washi tape strip. I have a little strip left here. It's kind of got like just these random, I want to say like 80s, 90s inspired colors to it, but used that all up. And I also used up my Mary Kay Matte 3D Foundation in Ivory. So I enjoyed this a lot. Definitely would repurchase that. And I've got the original antibacterial hand spray from Bath & Body Works. I don't have scent notes on this, but it just smelled kind of like clean, like a gender neutral clean. Um, maybe a little bit masculine, but I really enjoyed this, would definitely repurchase. I finished up a bath bomb in pumpkin spice from a company called Soap Du Jour. Um, I don't know if you guys would be able to read that. It's another small company. This was a gift from my boyfriend. Um, I really loved this. It was banging, honestly. Uh, it was like this nice big pumpkin spice scented bath bomb that felt really luxurious. So would definitely purchase from them. 
This is my Mary Kay Coconut Mousse Scented Hand Cream. I love the Mary Kay hand creams, but not in Coconut Mousse. It's not my favorite scent. I used it all up because I had it, but like, not my favorite. And I used up my Color Street Nails in Coming Up Rose Gold. It's actually what I have on my nails now. I don't know if you guys can see. They've been on for like three weeks at this point and they're still going like kind of strong, you know? I mean, they're definitely growing out, but they're there, you know? <laughs> so definitely would repurchase this. I love the like glitz and glam that are on my fingers right now. Um, This is Glam and Glitter Starshine Soap. Uh, from that same soap du jour company. It was this really cute little like, um, it wasn't lavender. It was like oat and something else purple that's not lavender. Uh, and it had like the grit of the oatmeal in it. And it was really nice. I don't know if I would go for it again, um, but I did really enjoy it. And I liked how it kind of like rubbed my skin, you know, with the oatmeal. So it was like a little gritty. I did enjoy that, but again, from that soap du jour company. I just prefer like body washes most of the time, you know? And this is a pen I used up. I'm like pointing with the pen now, but yeah, used it up. It was from the Dollar Tree and honestly, it's so cute and it wrote so well, but for like four seconds, you know? Anyways, this is Crest 3D White Brilliance Vibrant Peppermint Toothpaste. I actually really enjoyed this stuff. I would definitely repurchase it. It's a little on the pricier side, but like worth it. <laughs> so there's that. All right, we are about 20 minutes in and I have not started the wax, but that's all that we've got. So I'm going to get that and then we'll keep doing this. All right, we have like a metric butt ton of wax to get through, so let's keep her moving. Um, I'm gonna start with Scentsy. First up is Aladdin Arabian Nights. This is Exotic Warm Sands Bergamot Lang Lang Crystallized Musk. It's not my favorite. It was a very light scent. It smells very much like exotic florals. You know, every time they're like exotic florals, that's what it smells like. Um, wasn't my personal favorite. Wouldn't repurchase it, but I do love the packaging. I've got Cashmere and Corduroy from Scentsy. This one is Creamy Vanilla, Sicilian Bergamot and Cashmere Sandalwood. Wasn't my favorite. It definitely was good. Anything that has cashmere in it, I'm usually like, mm, you know, snuggly. But I don't think I would repurchase this one. It just wasn't like great enough for me to want to repurchase it. This is Fairy Tale Pumpkin. This one I really did enjoy. And it is Harvest Pumpkin, Midnight Black Raspberry, and a Whisper of Black Licorice. You can definitely smell like the black licorice and almost, this was like a really dark blue dye. And so it kind of smelled like a really dark black dye would smell, but I still enjoyed it. It was really good. Don't know if I'd repurchase it, but I think I have one more and I'm gonna enjoy that one too. This is Pumpkin Roll, an oldie but goodie. It's Creamy Pumpkin Pie with Yellow Cake, pecans, butter, and spice. Um, this is mostly cake and butter with pumpkin. It's not my favorite. I would, pr I prefer more pumpkin than cake. So, um, it's really good, but it is on the lighter side in my opinion because of the cake. So I don't think I'd repurchase it. This is first day of fall. It's just picked pumpkin, autumn woods, ground nutmeg, and a dash of cinnamon. It's really good. I enjoy this one. It just smells amazing. Like really nice pumpkin, cinnamon, nutmeg scent. So definitely enjoy that one. And I would repurchase until the end of time. <laughs> this is a blue sage and tonka and it's midnight sage, black lavender and tonka bean. Not my favorite. Um, it just smells like lavender and sage so I don't know it's just not my favorite like I love lavender but this isn't this isn't my favorite one so won't be repurchasing that this is apple and cinnamon sticks apple peel spiced white pumpkin and a touch of oak I don't really well actually now that like I hear it 
I know that there's oak in it, but mostly it just smells like apple and cinnamon. Not my favorite. I don't think I'd repurchase that one, but it definitely smells like apple, oats, or apple, oak, and cinnamon. This is red pear and pomegranate, a banger. You guys know that I'm always melting this one. It is pomegranate, rhubarb, and crisp pear. Just super light, bright, um, fruity scent. Definitely enjoy that one. This is Poor Unfortunate Souls from the Disney Ursula collection. Well, villains, and this one's Ursula. <laughs> and it's wild blackberry, scarlet raspberry, bubbly goji berry, and vanilla silk. This wasn't my favorite. Um, I don't know what it is about it. I think it's just the berries of it. I don't know. I'm not huge into berry scents, you know? So wouldn't repurchase this, but I'm glad that I got the chance to melt it. This is Scary Good, which I love the little like spooky pumpkins in the background there, but I did not like the scent at all. This is Pumpkin Puree with Fresh Cinnamon, Toasted Butterscotch, and Creamy Vanilla. It was just an aggressive pumpkin butterscotch kind of a scent, and I was not here for it. So I would definitely not be repurchasing this one. It was just way too sickeningly sweet for me. And this is one that I really love. It's Stargazing. And it's star kissed petals, fluffy cotton, and soft vanilla clouds. It just smells like really cozy laundry. Just snuggly, cozy laundry is what it smells like to me. Definitely love that one and will be purchasing more. I have another Blue Sage and Tonka. Again, just not for me. And Pumpkin Chai. I love Pumpkin Chai. This is White Pumpkin Swirl of Cinnamon and a Dash of Chai. And it just really smells like a pumpkin chai latte. So definitely love this one. And I think I've melted several of those this season, honestly. Um, sticking with the Scentsy theme, I have candied cranberry pecan in a little sample. It's cranberries, pecan, sugar cane, and brandied plum. This is an aggressively strong scent. Super, super candied, like cranberries and pecans. Um, not for me. If you are into super sickeningly sweet things, this is for you, but bruh, I almost had to turn it off. It was not, I wasn't having it. This one is really good. It's farm stand pumpkin, which is fresh apple, cinnamon, stick, pumpkin, and caramel. Really loved this one. I was shocked that I've never melted this before or remembered melting it, but definitely would purchase that. And autumn hearth. This one was also really good and I was surprised I'd never melted it. It's apple, cinnamon, and tonka. So definitely enjoyed that one. And now we're just kind of into a smorgasbord. So I've got three more clams that are not scentsy. This one is Farmhouse Pumpkin Patch from Better Homes and Garden. I would not repurchase this one. I can't even describe what it smells like. It's like a pumpkin patch mixed with like popcorn and it's just bizarre and I'm just like not having it. So would not repurchase this one. I did not enjoy it at all. This one is delicious. It is fresh baked sugar cookies. Um, I found this at Walmart, but I have no idea what the brand is, but this is incredible. And I bought like six or seven more clams of it. Um, I really, really enjoy this. It's just like a almost salted fresh baked sugar cookies. Like it's sugar cookies, but with like a little salt in there. It's really good. And I bought a ton of this. So definitely excited about that one. And this one is from Oak and Rye, which I find at the Fries or Kroger, and it's Halloween cookies. If anybody finds this, let me know and I will pay you so much money. Um, it's literally so good. It's kind of like that fresh baked sugar cookies, but like fall, you know? So I don't know. It's so good. I wish I had more of it. That was the only one I had and I bought it years ago. So wish I had melted it sooner so I could have got more, but you know, you live and you learn. Um, now I only have one little scent cup. This is from Wit and Wax. It's Toasty Molo, Spice, Velvet Woods, Warm Amber, Musk, and Vanilla Bean. It just smelled like a toasted marshmallow scent. It was really good through strong. I love Wit and Wax. Um, so there was that. Don't know if I'd repurchase that particular scent. You know, it's just not one of my all time favorites. It used to be, but not so much anymore. Scent preferences. 
Uh, this here is American Made Wax Company Spew from the Christmas at Hogwarts collection. I should have written down what the scent notes were, but I didn't. And I don't really remember this one very much either, so probably wouldn't repurchase. <laughs> um, this is Royal Sweet Potato Pie from Rose Girls. And this one was actually really good. I was pleasantly surprised. I didn't think I was going to like having sweet potato pie all through my house because I'm not huge on sweet potatoes, but this was actually really good. I'd probably, after I throw it on the floor, repurchase it. <laughs> uh, this is February 3rd from American Made Wax Company. It's butter cookie, frosting, cherries, pineapple, marshmallow cream, and vanilla taffy. It was limited edition. Unfortunately, I didn't get a scent throw at all from this. It was just like a little sample though, so I just don't know if my warmer had enough heat to like hit it, you know? Um, this is the Great Coffee Pumpkin, which I actually really enjoyed from Vintage Seek Chic Scents. It's pumpkin layer cake covered in cream cheese frosting and a steaming mug of Cafe Cubano. One of the few coffee scents that I actually really enjoy, so I would definitely pick up another bag of that. I have Hoodie Weather from Rose Girls. I have no idea what it smelled like. It was kind of just a weird... It was, it's some kind of laundry scent, but I'm just not having it. So would not repurchase that one. I wish I had better scent notes, but I couldn't find them. This is pumpkin pecan waffles, macadamia nut, and snickerdoodles from Rose Girls. And on the back of this, I wrote big yes. This one threw for days. It smelled amazing. Would definitely repurchase that. Uh, this is blueberry pumpkin peeps cake at Tiffany's. I really enjoy this one. Don't know if I'd repurchase it. I'm not super huge into the blueberry. Like this was a good blueberry though, but just like in general. So probably wouldn't repurchase it, but it was good. This is pumpkin cupcake and baked zucchini bread. Another banger. Again, I wrote yum on the back. So definitely would pick this one up. It was from Rose Girls as well. I got blackberry caramel apples. This one was disgusting to me. It was way over the top sweet. Um, it was really strong. I even wrote on the back. <laughs> That it was really strong but again so sickeningly sweet for me i would not repurchase that one this is country apple dumplings this was nothing really to write home about i'm not super keen on the dumpling scent from rose girls so wouldn't repurchase that and then this is apple fritter donut hole nilla noel again another one that wasn't super anything to write about i feel like the donut hole slash nilla noel really weakens things for my scent like picking up you know so wouldn't repurchase that one either. And then I have a ton of scented squirrel and I'm gonna go through these kind of quickly because I didn't get a scent throw from most of these. Like I got a very light scent throw. So it's really nothing that I would like go out of my way to repurchase. Um, this one is Buttermint Candies and Bonfire Bliss. I've got Bayberry Marshmallow Fireside, Balsam Toasted Marshmallow, Man, uh, this one's called Christmas Magic, and it's Mandarin, Green Clover, Fir, Spruce, Cardamom, Cedar, and Allspice. I've got Spiked Eggnog, which is Eggnog and Frangelico Streusel, which is Rich Cream, Caramel, Coffee, Frangelico Liquor. Um, hot Cocoa, Peppermint Sugar, and Whipped Cream. Nordic Balsam, which is Fresh Arctic Air, Heather, Cedarwood, Norwegian Balsam, Amber, and Oak Moss brown sugar and fig gingerbread, golden delicious apple vanilla wafers and Celtic moon spice, which is cinnamon clove and nutmeg, and cherries, chestnuts, warm vanilla sugar and sugar cookies. So again, like I said, unfortunately I didn't get a scent throw for like any of these. I could smell them barely, um, but it just wasn't anything that I would purchase again. So I have two maybe more no I've got two from super tarts this one is Halloween Town which is caramel apple cinnamon stick rice crispy the caramel apple was a little aggressive for me um this smelled really strong but it was a little sweet so I don't think I'd repurchase it but it was nice while I had it and this one I really loved it's Suki Suki <laughs> from super tarts and it's gingerbread buttery cake bites applesauce and buttercream that applesauce loved it so I was shocked because you don't usually think about putting applesauce into wax, but it smelled great. So I would repurchase that one. 
And then I've got two more of the Rose Girls that I forgot. This one's Candy Corn Streusel Kitchen. Um, I wrote on the back of this, mm, subtle yet strong and through forever. So this one, um, candy corn scents always seem to have like a more low key throw. Um, but I definitely could smell it and it just, it threw kind of low key for a long period of time. And I would definitely repurchase that. And this is Praline Pumpkin Latte, uh, Noel. So on the back of this, I wrote starts blech and then it slaps so hard. So it just kind of starts out smelling a little bizarre. And then as it goes on, like the bizarre notes melt off and then you just get that really nice, like sweet pumpkin coffee. So I don't know if I'd repurchase it. I'll make a game time decision when the time comes. <laughs> and the last wax melt that I have is a American made wax company, Pirates Water, which is Salty Sierra, Pink Sugar and Fresh Rose. This was from the, um, American Made Wax Company and No White Space Stickers collaboration, which is no longer available. It was limited edition, but this one was really good. It wasn't my favorite. Everyone was dying for it, but the rose scent notes just aren't personally my favorite. I enjoyed it and I was glad that I had a bag, but I definitely didn't need more than a bag. So, but it threw forever. I loved that collab so much. All right, and then we've got two candles and I promise I will stop talking. It's Merry Cookie for the first one by Bath & Body Works. And this is Fresh Baked Cookies, Sparkling Sugar Crystals and Rich Vanilla in this super cute little woodland candle container. <laughs> but this one was great. It just smelled like super fresh sugar cookies, delicious, warm, straight out the oven. And I definitely picked another one up at Candle Day. And then this is one of my all-time favorites. It is um, Sandalwood Myrrh by Bloom and Prosper. I picked it up at like TJ Maxx or Ross or something like that. Uh, it's in this Ask, Seek, Knock Bible quote jar. But I literally just picked this up in any jar that I can find it. Um, and it, it melted so well. It went all the way down. And honestly, like I haven't done candle reviews in so long because I'm so into wax melts, but this one also melted all the way down. It was sooty, but like, what you gonna do, you know? <laughs> Breathe it in, sister. <laughs> so anyways, that is it. Um, We're at 34 minutes, so I'm just gonna peace out. I have coming up though, a video all about, I saved my entire empties for the entire year. It's all sitting in my closet right here because I'm insane. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it yet, <laughs> but I know I'm gonna make a video about it in some way, shape or form. So prepare yourself for that because we're gonna talk about my year in trash. Love to see it. Plus I need to do my wax stats video because you guys love that every single year and I love doing it, honestly. It's just this year I needed to take a little six month break from doing all the videos, but I'm back. So. Anywho, I hope you guys are having a great day, night, whenever you are watching this, and until next time.